Hello my dear friends, welcome back to Infigyan. In today's video, we are going to solve one very very interesting question from radical equations for the real values of x. So let's get started by writing condition on x. Right hand side must be positive, so x must be greater than 0. Now we will consider squaring both sides. Square root and square will be over. We will write square root 8 plus fifth root of x part 10 minus 8 root 2 equal to x square. Now I will take this term to the RHS. So I can write x square minus fifth root of x power 10. We can write x square and then whole power 5 minus 8 square root 2. In LHS it would be square root 8 which we can write 2 square root 2 as we can write factors of 8 as 4 times 2. So square root 4 is 2. Now I will consider our substitution. Let's say x square equal to a. So I can write equation as a minus fifth root of a power 5 minus 8 square root 2 equal to 2 square root 2. Let's take this minus sign into this radical. So we can write a plus fifth root of 8 square root 2 minus a power 5 equal to 2 square root 2. Let me write this equation here. a plus fifth root of 8 square root 2 minus a power 5 equal to 2 square root 2. Now we will assume or consider our substitutions. Let's say this radicant equal to b power 5. So from this substitution I can write one equation. 8 square root 2 minus a power 5 equal to b power 5. So we can write a power 5 plus b power 5 would be 8 square root 2. And second equation we will get from here itself. a plus fifth root of b power 5 equal to 2 square root 2. Now fifth root power 5 will be over. We will get second equation a plus b equal to 2 root 2. Now we have to solve this new system of equations for the values of a and b. Let me write both the equations here. a plus b equal to 2 root 2 and a power 5 plus b power 5 equal to 8 square root 2. Now I will write expansion of a plus b whole power 5. So I can write directly a power 5 plus b power 5. Then it is 5 times ab in the bracket aq plus bq. That bracket I am writing a plus b whole cube minus 3ab a plus b. And then we have last term as 10 times a square b square times a plus b. Now we have to apply all the values. As you can see a plus b is 2 root 2. So here I am going to write 2 square root 2 whole power 5 equal to a power 5 plus b power 5 is 8 square root 2 plus 5 times a b in the bracket a plus b whole cube. So 2 root 2 whole cube. So 2 cube is 8, root 2 cube is 2 root 2. 
so 8 times 2 root 2 16 root 2 minus 3 times a plus b so 6 root 2 ab then we have last term 10 times a plus b so i can write 20 root 2 a square b square now 2 root 2 whole power 5 this would be equal to 2 power 5 and root 2 power 5 would be 4 root 2. So 32 times 4 is 128 root 2. So LHS we can write 128 square root 2. RHS will be 8 root 2. From the bracket I will take 2 root 2 common. So I can write here 10 root 2 times AB and here it would be 8 minus 3AB plus 20 root 2 A square B square. Now we can divide both sides by root 2 or better is to divide by 2 root 2. So let us divide both sides by 2 root 2. 2 root 2 divided by 2 root 2. Now this root 2, root 2 will be over immediately. Now we have to divide our equation by 2 and we will get 128 over 2, 64. So let me write here 64 equal to 8 plus, I will write 5ab in the bracket 8 minus 3ab then we will be getting 10a square b square and once we will divide by 2 then this would be 4 only this would be 4 only so I will take this 4 to the LHS 64 minus 4 is 60 equal to 5 times 8 40 ab minus 15 a square b square plus 10 a square b square or I can write 60 would be equal to 40 times a b minus 5 a square b square equation is divisible by 5 let's divide by 5 12 equal to 8 times a b minus a square b square Take all the terms to LHS. A square B square minus 8AB plus 12 equal to 0. Equation is quadratic. We can use method of factorization and split minus 8AB as minus 6AB minus 2AB plus 12 equal to 0. Now from first two terms AB is common. So in bracket AB minus 6, from last 2 we will take minus 2 common, in bracket we will get AB minus 6 equal to 0. Now factorization would be AB minus 6 times AB minus 2 equal to 0. Now from product 0 property we can write either AB minus 6 will be 0 or AB minus 2 equal to 0. So from here I can write AB equal to 6. And from this equation we will get AB equal to 2. Now I will write our first equation. First equation was A plus B equal to 2 root 2. So from this equation I can write the value of B. 2 root 2 minus a which we are going to apply here. Let's apply a times 2 root 2 minus a equal to 6 and here I will write a times 2 root 2 minus a equal to 2 or we will be writing 2a root 2 minus a square equal to 6 or a square minus 2 root 2a plus 6 
equal to 0. And here we'll be writing a square minus 2 root 2a plus 2 equal to 0. Now I will solve second equation first, this one. So it is one perfect square. This is whole square of a minus root 2 equal to 0. So from here I can write a will be equal to root 2 with multiplicity 2. Now we will solve first quadratic equation, this one. And we will check the discriminant value only. So I will write a square minus 2 square root 2a plus 6 equal to 0. So discriminant will be equal to b square, so minus 2 root 2 whole a square, minus 4 times a times c. So this will give us 4 times 2, 8, minus 4 times 6 is 24. So we will be getting minus 16. Once discriminant is negative, we can say solutions will be complex. Complex solutions. So we will reject this quadratic equation. So accepted value of A would be, let me write here, a equal to a square root 2. Now a was our substitution if you remember x square. So this would be equal to a square root 2. Now I will take a square root both sides. We can write x would be equal to plus and minus a square root 2 whole power half or we can write x would be equal to plus minus fourth root of 2. Now restriction on x was x must be positive. So this minus will be rejected. So accepted x would be plus fourth root of 2. Now we have to check our answer. So let me write here check. And this is our LHS x equal to fourth root of 2. So I will begin with LHS. A square root of a square root 8. Let me write 2 root 2 plus fifth root of x power 10. Let us calculate separately. x power 10 would be 2 power 1 over 4. This is fourth root of 2 whole power is 10. So this will be equal to 2 raised to the power 10 over 4 or 2 raised to the power 5 over 2. This can be written as 2 raised to the power 2 plus half or we can use exponent law 2 power 2 times 2 power half. So value will be equal to 4 square root 2. This is x power 10. So I will write 4 square root 2 minus 8 square root 2. So square root of 2 root 2 plus 5th root of 4 root 2 minus 8 root 2. So let us write 5th root of minus 4 root 2. Now 5th root, so we can take minus out. I will write 2 root 2 minus fifth root of 4 root 2 or we can write a square root of 2 root 2 minus 4 root 2 is 2 power you can see from here this is 4 root 2 so we can write 2 power 5 over 2 let's write 2 power 5 over 2 fifth root so we can put 1 over 5 as power. Now this 5 and 5 will be cancelled out. So it is 2 power 1 over 2. So I can write 2 root 2 minus root 2. So 2 root 2 minus root 2 is root 2. Root of square root 2 is 4th root 2. 
you can see LHS equal to RHS. Hence, our solution fourth root of 2 is verified. I hope, friends, you will like this video. Thank you so very much for watching. Do not forget to like, share, subscribe. Bye bye till next video. Good luck. Take care.